will be heard when your request has been accepted. To cancel your question, press star 2. Veuillez patienter. Votre conférence commencera sous peu. Pour poser une question, appuyez sur étoile 1 après que le modérateur ait débuté la conférence. Une tonalité du système confirmera que votre demande a été acceptée. Pour annuler votre question, appuyez sur étoile 2. Please stand by. Your conference will begin momentarily. To ask a question, please wait for the moderator to start the conference, then press star 1. A system tone will be heard when your request has been accepted. To cancel your question, press star 2. Veuillez patienter. Votre conférence commencera sous peu. Pour poser une question, appuyez sur étoile 1 après que le modérateur ait débuté la conférence. Une tonalité du système confirmera que votre demande a été acceptée. Pour annuler votre question, appuyez sur étoile 2. Veuillez patienter. Votre conférence commencera sous peu. Pour poser une question, appuyez sur étoile 1 après que le modérateur ait débuté la conférence. Une tonalité du système confirmera que votre demande a été acceptée. Pour annuler votre question, appuyez sur étoile 2. Please stand by. Your conference will begin momentarily. To ask a question, please wait for the moderator to start the conference, then press star 1. A system tone will be heard when your request has been accepted. To cancel your question, press star 2. Veuillez patienter. Votre conférence commencera sous peu. Pour poser une question, appuyez sur étoile 1 après que le modérateur ait débuté la conférence. Une tonalité du système confirmera que votre demande a été acceptée. Pour annuler votre question, appuyez sur étoile 2.
please stand by. Your conference will begin momentarily. To ask a question, please wait for the moderator to start the conference, then press star 1. A system tone will be heard when your request has been accepted. To cancel your question, press star 2. Veuillez patienter. Votre conférence commencera sous peu. Pour poser une question, appuyez sur étoile 1 après que le modérateur ait débuté la conférence. Une tonalité du système confirmera que votre demande a été acceptée. Pour annuler votre question, appuyez sur étoile 2. Please stand by. Your conference will begin momentarily. To ask a question, please wait for the moderator to start the conference, then press star 1. A system tone will be heard when your request has been accepted. To cancel your question, press star 2. Veuillez patienter. Votre conférence commencera sous peu. Pour poser une question, appuyez sur étoile 1 après que le modérateur ait débuté la conférence. Une tonalité du système confirmera que votre demande a été acceptée. Pour annuler... Please stand by. Your conference will begin momentarily. To ask a question, please wait for the moderator to start the conference, then press star 1. A system tone will be heard when your request has been accepted. To cancel your question, press star 2. Veuillez patienter. Votre conférence commencera sous peu. Pour poser une question, appuyez.
I would now like to turn the meeting over to Tony Baldinelli and Stephanie Cousy. Please go ahead. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Bienvenue à l'appel conférence de presse. J'aimerais maintenant céder la parole à Tony Baldinelli et Stephanie Cousy. À vous la parole. Merci beaucoup. Bonjour tout le monde. Merci pour être ici avec nous aujourd'hui. Thank you for joining us. I'm here today with my colleague, Member of Parliament, Tony Baldinelli, as well as President Barrett Arman and Vice President Derek Butcher for Sunwing Pilots Union. Canada's aviation sector is critical for Canada's economy. Before COVID-19 hit, the industry directly contributed over $25 billion in GDP and provided 231,000 jobs to hardworking Canadians. Since the start of the pandemic, we have seen tens of thousands of these workers laid off, dozens of regional routes cancelled, and no recovery plan in sight. A viable aviation sector is critical for conducting trade and commerce and is a significant proponent for tourism in Canada. It is essential for this industry to be operational for when Canada starts to recover from the pandemic. The government must start evaluating how we can repair the damage that has been done to this industry. They need a robust recovery strategy that uses science-based and data-based decision-making with respect to testing and quarantine measures so that there is a clear path forward to restart the industry once it is safe to do so. This plan must be included in the upcoming federal budget alongside financial assistance for our airlines in the form of debt financing. Industry has been asking for supports since the beginning of the pandemic, and despite promises from the Liberal government, we continue to see little action. They have been in negotiations with airlines since November with still no resolution. Many of our allies around the world provided supports to their airlines back in June and May of last year, but our pilots, flight attendants, and other valuable aviation workers are still waiting. 
Canada's airlines cannot afford to wait any longer. Sunwing, whose pilot union is with us here today, is currently not operating any flights. Porter has not operated since the beginning of the pandemic, and WestJet, one of Canada's largest airlines, is operating at levels not seen in 20 years. Canada is a vast country geographically, and we need a thriving aviation sector to visit our loved ones, conduct business, and provide essential services. Without financial supports provided, you will find that our great country won't be nearly as interconnected as it once was. We will see many regional routes permanently lost and ticket fares become unaffordable for many as airlines struggle to keep up with the demand. Recovery for Canada's airline sector isn't as simple as turning on the lights when air travel demand returns. We need a comprehensive recovery strategy from this government that includes financial assistance in the form of debt financing, and we needed it months ago. Je vais répéter en français brièvement. Le secteur aérien a besoin d'un plan. Il a besoin d'un plan il y a une an. Il attend encore un plan. Nous attendons un plan spécifiquement pour le secteur aérien dans le budget, avec le finance de la dette spécifiquement pour le aérien secteur dans le budget. Merci beaucoup. I will now pass the floor to my colleague, the uh, Member of Parliament, Tony Baldinelli. As well, he serves as the Special Advisor to the Conservative Leader on Tourism Recovery. Mr. Baldinelli, please. Thank you, uh, Stephanie, and good morning, everyone, and, and thank you for joining us today. As Stephanie has indicated, I am the Special Advisor to the Conservative Leader on Tourism Recovery. I'm also the Member of Parliament representing the riding of Niagara Falls. COVID-19 struck us over a year ago. This pandemic hit Canada's travel and tourism industry first. It hit this industry the hardest, and it will take the travel and tourism industry the longest time to recover from this pandemic. Many sectors were immediately shuttered and remain so. These include airlines and airports, cruise ships, motor coach buses, hotels, resorts and accommodations, restaurants and small businesses who rely on tourism, such as independent travel agents and travel agencies, attractions and conventions, festivals and fairs, live events, and many others. During the pandemic, Canadian businesses and their workers have sacrificed greatly to work with and comply with required government orders to support and preserve the health interests of all Canadians. In doing so, these businesses and the sector have called upon the government for sector-specific relief and a roadmap that would lead to a future economic and tourism recovery. Unfortunately, this sector-specific relief has not come, and thousands of businesses have permanently closed, and thousands of Canadian jobs have been lost. Every day that passes without the commitment of the federal emergency business and worker supports results in greater uncertainty and anxiety for businesses, workers, and their families. Without this committed federal support, thousands of hardest-hit businesses inch closer to permanent closure, and hundreds of thousands of workers remain laid off and risk permanently losing their jobs. Today, Canada's Conservatives have supported those hardest hit by listening to and understanding their concerns and challenges and relaying this information to the federal government to enact emergency support measures, which we have supported. Recently, we passed an opposition motion in the House of Commons that calls on the government to include measures in the next federal budget to help workers and their families struggling the most in this current economic downturn. The motion calls for the introduction of sector-specific measures to support workers in the highly impacted hospitality, tourism, and charitable sectors. It calls for providing support to our airlines, which my colleague has spoken about, and it calls for improving support programs, including lending supports for small business and medium businesses to be accessible within 30 days of the passage of that motion. It was shocking to see the Liberals oppose this motion, which includes obvious and sensible asks that are so badly needed by many. Despite the Liberal opposition, Conservatives passed this motion with the support of other political parties on March 10th. Over 30 days have already passed, and these measures are overdue according to the text of this motion. However, for those hardest hit, these measures have been long overdue already for many months. 
The Trudeau Liberals are failing Canadians, especially those who have been hardest hit and are struggling the most. The highly affected sector credit availability program is out of reach for many, and many are deterred by its high interest rates. HASCAP also needs to be improved. Canada's Conservatives that anxiously wait in unison with Canadians who have been hardest hit to see what emergency support measures will be included in Budget 2021 once it is unveiled on April 19th. We have waited over two long years for a federal budget, and this government has had ample time to consult with those hardest hit. We will be watching closely to see how well they have listened to those who need help the most. Thank you for your time today. I will now call upon Barrett Armand, president of Unifor Local 7378 Sunwing Pilots, to say a few words. Thank you, Tony. Uh, Thank you, Stephanie. And thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. For more than a year, the entire aviation industry, its workers and support workers, more than 240,000 employees across Canada, have been without jobs. For more than a year, we voiced our concerns to the government asking for support. Financial support and assistance to secure our jobs for when the pandemic eases and when we're allowed to work again. Over the course of this past year, our union, along with other unions, has suggested solutions to the government science-based policy to allow the sector to sustain itself while the pandemic continued. What we've heard from this government has been for more than a year, help is coming, we're in discussions, we're working on a package. After an entire year, we're still waiting. These pilots and flight attendants, air traffic controllers, support staff are still waiting, wondering when this government will allow them to work, will the government protect their jobs, When will they be able to support themselves and their families again? Will they have a career to come back to? How much longer must we wait? A year into the pandemic and vaccines finally being rolled out, we're asking, what is the plan? Where is the plan to allow our members to get back to work? The Trudeau government must communicate to our sector so that they can plan the future. As I've said before, you cannot simply flick a switch to turn on the lights. Training and preparation are needed to open our skies again. It will take months, years to rebuild the destruction that the Liberal government has caused to this industry and its people. Their lack of action and support has caused significant losses to everyone in our sector. For more than a year, flight attendants, pilots, aviation workers across our country have been without without income. A lucky few received the Canadian Emergency Wave Subsidy, a program that allowed employees to stay tied to their employers in a furlough capacity and live on a new reduced amount of $573 per week. Supporting their families through a pandemic, failing at paying their bills, a program that ends on June 5th with no recovery plan in sight, no extension of support, and no job protections tabled. On April 19th, the Trudeau government will table their first budget in more than two years. They've said support is coming for the aviation sector. On April 19th, we demand real support. We demand a real plan for the future of our industry. We demand security for our careers when things return to normal after vaccines. There must be financial support for furloughed workers after June 5th. Support must continue until the recovery is fully realized. Job protections tied to money from the government. For aviation workers, pilots, flight attendants, air traffic controllers, and airport workers, so that they can return to their careers in short order once vaccinations are widely distributed. And a plan to return to normal, a plan to ease border restrictions, a plan for hope for countless members of the tourism and aviation sector. Our pilots are tired of waiting and hearing excuses, excuse after excuse from this government. Our 450 members have waited, lost their homes, lost their life, no more excuses, no more delays. We want commitment, a real answer, and support now. It's an embarrassment to our industry and a scar on our nation. I'd like to introduce Derek. He will say a few words, Vice President of Local 7378, representing the Sunwing Pilots. Thank you. 
Thank you, Barrett. Thank you for joining us, everybody. This has been an extraordinarily grim period for my colleagues. I have personally spoken to members who have lost their homes, who have spent their life savings to support their families, who have had difficulty putting food on the table. One of the main causes of this is inadequate support from the government. The current support amounts to $2,000 a month. This is not enough to pay rent and feed a family on. Personally, myself, I live in Toronto. My rent is $2,400 a month. This does not even cover my rent. I want to talk about an adage, something that has been used since the beginning of the pandemic, that we are all in this together. I remember at the beginning of the pandemic, this was particularly true for me as we were all forced to stay home in quarantine for the first few weeks. Recall two weeks to flatten the curve. Now, one year on, the vast majority of my colleagues and I are still out of work, still at home, still waiting. We are not all in this together. We started off that way. However, those of us, particularly in the travel and tourism industries, this has turned into an exceptionally challenging, very prolonged period with no work. One year later, we are still waiting for a plan on what a recovery will look like. We have been told we cannot work. If we are all in together, will the government step up and fully support aviation workers? Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone, for your comments. Thank you uh, so much to my colleague, the Member of Parliament for Niagara Falls, as well as the Special Advisor to the Conservative Leader on Tourism Recovery. Thank you uh, so much, uh, Mr. Oman and Mitch Mr. Butcher, for those heartfelt sentiments, which we know are felt so deeply throughout your industry. Merci beaucoup à tous les membres. Uh, maintenant, nous sommes prêts pour, votre, pour, pour vos questions. Nous sommes, we are ready for your questions. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Please press star 1 at this time if you have a question. S'il vous plaît, appuyez sur étoile 1 maintenant pour poser une question. Once again, please press star 1 if you have questions. De nouveau, n'hésitez pas à appuyer sur étoile 1 pour toute question. There are no questions registered at this time. Nous n'avons pas de questions pour le moment. I would now like to turn the meeting back over to the room. J'aimerais maintenant retourner la parole à la salle. Well, if there are no further questions, uh, I believe that this concludes our remarks for today. But Prime Minister Trudeau, uh, Minister Algabra, Minister Jolie, you have heard the messages loud and clear today from the aviation sector, uh, from the hospitality sector. They expect more. We, as the official opposition, expect more on April 19th. And we will be waiting for a response to what we have asked for today. Vous avez entendu le message du secteur aérien, du secteur de l'hospitalité. Nous attendons une réponse pendant le budget en avril 19. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Merci beaucoup pour vous joindre aujourd'hui. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. It's our conference. Ça, c'est la fin de notre conférence. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. The conference has now ended. La conférence est maintenant terminée. Please disconnect our lines at this time. Veuillez, s'il vous plaît, raccrocher votre ligne. Thank you for your participation. Merci à tous les participants qui se sont joints.